Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Unturned. So ladies and gentlemen, last episode we have been still in Hawaii, we explored a few places. Oh yeah, there's that uh, volcano military base thing, which, yeah, we explored that. Found out about like Aegis and the military having a war against each other or something like that, I have no clue. And today we're going to be going, heading right back where we finished off, which is, I uh, don't even remember where we finished off. Oh yeah, it's next to that uh, village town place thing. We're going to be going right back there, and I think my game's crash. And we're, ah, uh, goddamn, turned EXE is not responding. Never mind, we're fine. We're going to be going right back there to the town village thing. We're going to be looting and exploring that, and then just going everywhere else we have to go. And also, we're going to be looking for the paddle, because one of our blokes wants a paddle, doesn't he? Yeah. I don't know why, but he just wants a paddle, so I'm going to give him a paddle. Right, Chuck, yeah, that's why, because Chuck, he's stuck on an island, so he needs a paddle to get off his island, so yeah. I'm gonna be getting a paddle for Chuck. Anyway, it's very dark, it's very spoopy, not nice, but yeah, this is our vehicle, and yeah, we're right here, and I can't even read the name of the village. Howla, hello, something like that, yeah, we're here. And yeah, we're gonna be heading to Aleka base after, obviously, we're done with exploring this place, and after, obviously, we find that paddle. Because if you can find the paddle here, go to Aleka base, explore that place, and... Go to liquor base, explore that place, it rhymes. Take the boat from here, go to Chuck's Island, give Chuck the uh, thing, the paddle, get the mission done, and you can go back and then, yeah, already go and leave. So it's basically going to be en route, if we do do it that way. So let's just hope that we find a paddle here in Hilo. So we're going to basically just look for a paddle, because all we need to find. Find supplies for Chuck's raft, all we need to find is just a paddle. We found all the ropes and all the previous stuff, so all you need to find now is just a paddle. It was rather dark, and I did say I won't make it day by my, you know, via cheats, but I am very tempted to make it day via cheats, because I couldn't see a thing, god damn it. And I don't have too many clips in this gun, so I definitely should be a bit careful of who I fire at. Although I do think, yeah, I have a spur, a few spur guns on me, so. Yeah, now, you, sir. Are you just standing here, or what? <laughs> well, you're dead now. Oh, oh, hello. Good. You're dead now. Now bloke bites the dust. Anybody gonna give me some food? Oh, beautiful. Just some potatoes here. All right, good. I'll take those. Now it's a school. Looks like a school. I just run into school and just yeah. I'm not gonna talk about that because I'm gonna get demonetized. And now I say demonetized. Not like I'm I'm monetized in the first place. Therefore, if they if they want to demonetize me, then they'll probably take my video down. So yeah. All right, hello, Mr. Fireman, firefighter. You're yep. Yeah, no longer fighting fires now, are you? Alright, this little place would be good if I, if I had a headlamp. Actually, what is the ID for headlamp? Let me quickly check. I definitely do want uh, a headlamp now, don't I? Yeah. For a headlamp would be pretty cool. Let me quickly just Google what a headlamp What an ID, ha ID for headlamp is. Alright, unturned headlamp ID. There we are. The ID for a headlamp, my friend, is two ones, two nines. Good, there we are. So, in that case. Give no give tabby waiver tabby waiver sixty nine slash and copy that and paste it whenever you wish and then one one nine nine there we are beautiful got a headlamp it's already put itself on beautiful now you can go and I guess go around like this right take you down bro and now ah oh, Jesus right mow you down and mow you down and we're gonna mow you down too good. Now, anything else in this house? Not like I really want anything, so yeah, it's no point even exploring and looting these houses. Alright, uh, whatever. I guess, I guess I am looking for a paddle, so you know, it'll be good to find a paddle here in Hilo. That's what this place is called, Hilo. Alright, uh, I guess I'm just gonna go around the place and just look for a paddle. And drink this apple juice, because apparently everyone in, you know, Hawaiian schools just has to have apple juice, otherwise they're like breaking the law. Look at this firehouse, Crikey, I've never been to a um, Hawaiian firehouse. It looks nice, it's all yellow and all that stuff. Oh, I turned my lamp off. Nice. Real nice. Alright, no paddles around us, so yeah. Who would have a paddle? Police station? I do doubt it, although police station probably will be dangerous, so we'll actually equip my gun. Just because, you know, is this just a yielding letter? No. Actually, yeah, it is. To get a with Sandra, blah, 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 we are done. Yielding second bomb. Now, is that a headlamp over there? Because if that's a headlamp, then, well, it actually even is a headlamp. No, it's civilian night vision. Civilian night vision is terrible, so yeah, nobody likes civilian night vision. I don't know why, but my game's like really lagging. I don't mean like proper lagging. That might we're fine now. Interesting. That's civilian night vision. As you know, civilian night vision is terrible, so yeah. If you see it, just don't take it. Alright, now I did alert everyone to here, so yeah, that's not good, is it? Alright, anyway, shoot you, and you, and you, and good. Now we've got to reload, because we're out, good. 
Alright, last spur clip. I only have two clips left. One is currently in our gun and one spur. Alright, paddles. Who would have a paddle? A post office? I doubt it. I'm not going to be sending paddles to children. I'm already. Hmm. That was like duct tape and that stuff, but. Huh. No paddles. That's not ideal. Well, I guess we're going to have to go and just look. I don't know where we'd look for a paddle, like. Seriously. Huh. Who and where would have a paddle? Hmm, I generally have no clue. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go and just look around. Find a paddle, that's a baseball bat. Similar things, but not the same. Hmm, did you drop a paddle? No, you dropped a hammer. Oh, hello, do you have a paddle? You don't have a paddle, great. Of course you don't have a paddle, because... Why would you have a paddle? No, no one here has a paddle, great. We're gonna go back to the, uh, you know, chainsaw. Maybe I'll cut some knowledge into these guys. Yeah, you, do you have a paddle? Nope, he has a hammer, great. Well, that's definitely not a paddle last time I checked, so, well, we're gonna have to keep on looking till, until we find that paddle. Huh? And you're not gonna drop a paddle because you're just farmers and farmers can drop paddles, so yeah. There's a restaurant over there. Oh, just just a cup no weapon. So, ah, man, work there. Ooh, a paddle! Thank you, Mr. Farmer. Sorry for saying that farmers don't have paddles since you just dropped a paddle. So, Mr. Farmer, I thank you for the paddle. We got it. I'm missing space. God damn it. Uh, this paddle is takes six inventory spots, and I don't necessarily have six inventory spots. Oh, I got chuck one so much stuff, and there's just no that I'm going to be able to deliver since I just don't have room to deliver all that goddamn stuff. Chuck, seriously, what the hell? Um, well, I don't want to just leave this paddle because I'm gonna forget to come back for it. So, um, yeah, um. What is that? But a coconut? Oh, I still that coconut from earlier. There's no room for this paddle. There generally just is no room. So, uh, maybe if I... I know, I'm going to pick up the paddle, and then I'm going to go and drop it again, just so it doesn't despawn. Good. Then I'm going to go explore this place, and then I'm going to go, and I guess drop something, go to Alika base, I give the paddle to the bloke that wants it to chuck, and then I'm going to come back and pick up whatever we drop. So I'm going to leave it here for now, but only for now. Quickly have a look around this place, if there's anything else interesting, then I'm going to go and drop something. Give the thing to chuck, and then come back. Alright, cool. Kill you, and kill you. Good. How about we actually start shooting? It's going to be way easier. Now that we've got the paddle, I guess I don't have to kill these guys so painfully. Good. Right. I guess I can show some mercy, can't I? Alright, kill you, kill you. Beautiful. Who else wants to have a go? You. Yeah, oh, of course, you survived. Well, oh, alright, stop. This is my last mag, alright. Stop. And stop. Alright, oh, that's a lot of people I just murdered. Well, I guess I'll just eat these eggs and I'll be on my way, huh? Well, whatever. That's that crikey. Um, yeah, where's the empty mag? There it is. Actually, I think we're going to be able to make some space if I fire all the bullets from this gun. Alright, that's what we're going to do. Alright. Now, anything else? No, no, no. Anything else that I want to go to the juice bar? What the hell is a juice bar? Is it just. I don't know what the hell a juice bar is, but. Probably something Hawaiian. Never been to Hawaii, so journey, I have no clue. Alright, just a living apartment house thing. I guess I can go and coolly have a look, see what's inside. Hmm. That'll be anything interesting, though. Never is. A duffel bag. I already have a black duffel bag, so I'll be fine. A elevator. And mm, yeah, there's nothing interesting. I'm, I'm not even gonna bother to go upstairs. I've made like 15 of those and they never gave me anything good. It's not like I'm even looking for anything that a civilian would have, so... Actually, what, I, what am I even looking for? It's a good question. And then let's just go and blob the mechanic. Oh, hello, bro. You're just gonna walk away? Well, smart move, bro. Alright, yo, bro, so how are you? I do think that I would like some fuel, right? Well, oh, we're out of ammunition. Well, that's not ideal. Well, I'm gonna have to go and take that out. Good, and I'm gonna have to go and mow this dude down. Yeah, thank you. Now, this weapon's empty. The 911's empty. So, well, not the 911, the 1911's empty. So, I guess we're gonna be able to equip the Cobra. Good, and put the. Yeah, the light on good, and we still have quite a few Cobra mags left. And I think I'm actually gonna. I could have refilled these uh, 1911 mags. Uh, but I just. I don't think I will, actually, to be honest. Yeah. Do I have any other empty mags on me? Or no? No, oh, I don't think I do. Good. That because you can go and make some room now for this paddle. Not that we fired all that stuff out. Good. Put that up here and that up here. Good. Alright, now I need to clear up one more space so you can put the paddle over here. Now, mind, we actually do have room for the paddle. Alright, good. Well, whatever. Yeah, I said I could have refilled the what, ammunition, the um, 911, but I think I do prefer a Cobra. So, yeah, I'm going to go and just leave that there. And, yeah. 
we're gonna go and just refill the ammunition in this Cobra. They can go and, you know, yeah, put fuel into our can. Good, and now let's go back, get that paddle, go to the Alaka base, explore the Alaka base, give the paddle to goddamn Chuck, and then we're gonna, go, we're gonna be able to carry on exploring. So, that's some medicine. Yeah, I'll just take the tablets. <coughs> good. Don't take tablets when you just find them on the ground. Not a good idea. Alright, we've got a paddle. Good. We have everything that we need to get. Now let's go and give everything to Chuck. So you can get all the stuff out of our inventory. Good. Now, anything in here? I didn't check this place. No, I did check it as thoroughly as I could. Yeah, alright. That is wrong. I was going to throw a red flower. Good. It's spooky and red inside. Good. Now let's, I guess, go and get ourselves out of here. There's quite a lot of zombies around, so that's not ideal. So yeah, let's get into our car and go. I've got everything that I wanted to go, so I guess I can actually refuel and re um repair my vehicle. Where the hell is the exit to this place? Right over here, good. Yeah, I love how red it is inside of the um, fire station. Yeah, and the fire station, but the police station, like you can see how red it is inside. Bruh. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's just go. Uh, repair and refuel. Yep, we can both repair and refuel this vehicle. Alright, good. Let's get our blowtorch out. Good. Equip another room, obviously. You have to. Always drop something if you want to go and pick up the equip the goddamn blow torch. Alright. Fix up the vehicle. Alright, the vehicle is fully fixed up. They can go and fully fuel it up. Good, this should get it to full. Nope, not need to fuel full. Alright, let's I guess get more fuel from the gas station. Fuel up our vehicle fully. And then I'm gonna be, we're gonna be able to head out to well the base. The military Alika thing, but you can base. Turn off my lights so these zombies can't see me. And then mind they heard me. Well, that's not ideal, and that's we have to go and, yeah, take this. Yeah, good. And then, with this, we're gonna have to go and run back. God, I'm gonna be running in circles. God, it's so spooky in the police station since it's all red. Bruh. Alright, well, whatever. We're just gonna go and all the way run. Yeah, we're gonna run to our vehicle, fuel it up, and if that's not enough, we're gonna have to run back and fuel it up again. And, ah, Jesus. I put that in, is that enough? That's barely enough. Alright, give me a second, I have to get more fuel, don't I? Alright, so you can go and take even more fuel out of here, and now, you can go and put more fuel into here. Beautiful. So, our vehicle is now fully fueled up, fully powered up, and fully healthed up. So now let's, uh Jesus. Now let's go and, I guess, put more fuel into our can, and just get the hell out of here. Why don't we? Good, yeah. Can I tell, like, a base and, uh, explore the place? <laughs> God, why does that everything rhyme with a liquor? Yeah, explore it. Go to Chuck, give Chuck the stuff that he needs, and then I'm gonna be able to, you know, head out. Good. Right, to our vehicle we go. These zombies have been following me for like ever, so let's just put them down. Good, beautiful, you're dead, thank you. Dropped an eagle fire. Why do you just have an eagle fire on you, may I ask, sir? I definitely take it, but I don't have room for your eagle fire. I would have room if I would, you know, remove this paddle. So, what I'm going to do is pick up the eagle fire. No, 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 room, well. Pick up the eagle fire, drop it, so now it won't despawn. And then we can go and put this stuff away, put the paddle and all the wood away, just give it give it to Chuck. Then he can come back and pick up this eagle fire. He's gonna have to remember to come back for it. Alright, good. All right, we're gonna have to do this here. Now let's go to Alika Base, explore it, give the stuff to Chuck, come back here, get the gun, and then I guess go to whatever else will be next on the list, which is going to be Y Koala. That'll be next time on the place on the list. Alright, good. Let's get into our vehicle and drive out of here. Let's try and forget to pick up our, you know, good old eagle fire that we've left there. Alright, well, to, you know, to Alika base we go. We can actually go here. It's gonna be a bit of a shortcut, technically. Alright, I love how quiet this Jeep is. Like, it's just like, listen. It's pretty much like an electric car. And, like, makes no sounds. Which also makes no sense, because I put fuel into it, not electricity. That's interesting, but whatever. And let's just drive our seals right out of there to the base. Explore the place and get our hell out of there. Ugh. Alright, now, here we are. Look at it. I've been here before because I've obviously teleported into here so you could go to a uh, Coast Guard HQ. So I could go to, you know, Chuck's Island, but I've never actually, you know, legitimately explored the place and actually got here legitimately, so yeah. Anyway, yeah, this says, yeah, Coast Guard HQ. So the Alika base isn't a military base, it's a Coast Guard base. Interesting. Well, whatever, we're going to have to go and head right back here to pick up our weapon afterwards. And anyway, cool, let's check this place out, see what it has to offer, and then go do Chuck. Now, let's check this place out. They don't know I'm here yet, so that's a good start. There is just a military knife on the floor, which doesn't fill me with much hope, because in fact, these guys are supposed to be, you know, Coast Guards. But, you know, because Coast Guards need a military knife every now and then. Okay, they literally have a plane in here. 
Mm-hmm. Interesting. A lot of these guys. So these these guys have unyielding uniforms. So I want to know if these are unyielding uniforms or if those are Coast Guard uniforms. And unyielding just are wearing Coast Guard outfits as their uniform. I have no clue which one of this, but since it's the Coast Guard HQ, these guys, these are probably uh, Coast Guard uniforms. Therefore, the unyielding are literally wearing Coast Guard uniforms as their military uniforms. Which is very weird, but I guess whatever. Yeah, look, Coast Guard bottoms, so these are literally Coast Guard outfits, which is interesting. Or maybe, maybe they're not wearing Coast Guard outfits, the unyielding. Um, yeah, let's actually explore the space, I don't have to go and teleport myself to the unyielding HQ, just to double check. Um, yeah, how similar the outfits are. Anyway, let's just shoot these guys, of course, the game lags every time I shoot my gun, you know, typical. Yeah, beautiful, okay, that shot way too many bullets out, I want to be on... No, I want to be on. No, safety. Semi, yeah, semi, not goddamn burst. Alright, that's way better. Good. Why well, is there like five bullets and not one single bloke? Blue smoke? Well, I guess I can pick it up and just. Chrome it! Beautiful. Good, alright, I took the car of those guys. It's a gas gun over here. There's literally just like a plane. It's journey a plane over here. Yeah, Coast Guard seaplane. Issue is, I don't know how to fly a plane, so I'm gonna, we're not even gonna bubble that. Now, look at all these guys over here. <coughs> Crikey. Alright, now that's I guess the entrance into the place. This I guess like the um uh, I don't know what the hell this is. But it's summer, that's for sure. They have, yeah, they have a low caliber military ammunition box in here. Why do you have an ammunition box inside of a Coast Guard office? God damn it. That didn't even go through. Ah great. Alright. Well, there's really nothing over here, is there? Well, bro, I'm just gonna punch you in the head until you die. Bro. Oh, uh, well, I guess that's about it. I guess, yeah. Now we can just teleport ourselves out of here, then we can teleport ourselves back. So, what I want to check is how do unyielding English look like? Teleport HQ. Good. How do these guys look like? Yeah, look, they're literally wearing Coast Guard uniforms. Like, look at these guys. They're literally just generally wearing Coast Guard uniforms. Like, bro, can't you, can't you come up with anything, you know, more original? I thought that at the Aleka base, there's just a bunch of your soldiers that got infected. And that's why they were wearing your uniforms, but no, they're not your soldiers, they're just simply Coast Guard that's infected. And you are wearing Coast Guard uniforms, what the hell, bro? Oh, Jesus, whatever. Well, at least, at least that's ex explained. Let's go and teleport ourselves to, you know, the Alikia base, and then let's carry on exploring this place. And why does it keep on rhyming? And then you can go to Chuck, good. Now, all the zombies around, not ideal. Uh, I think all the zombies respawned, because they teleported out of here, didn't they? Great. Well, I guess we can turn our light off because we don't need it now. I don't want to alert everyone, so we're not going to alert everyone. I'm going to pick up this smoke and I'm just going to throw it over there just so everyone goes over there and just gets out of my way. Good. Now, inside of here, what do we have here, huh? Well, they have a peacemaker. I'm telling you, these goddamn Coast Guards are not Coast Guards. They're literally military men. They have peacemakers and... Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't even, I don't even have room for, to pick up this peacemaker. I'd really love to pick it up, but it's not a room. I guess I could make some room once I put away the... Once they give this stuff to, you know. Oh, Jesus. Once they give this stuff to a Chuck. Ah, oh, dude, you have to get alerted. God damn you. Right, uh, of course you dropped the military box, yeah. These Coast Guards aren't the Coast Guards that would be saving, like, you from the water. These are the Coast Guards that literally just go and shoot you. Oh. They're Coast Guards. Not the blokes that go and save you from drowning. Oh, I just understood. I thought that these Coast Guards, I thought what they meant is that they're literally... Like the blokes that you know that you when you go to a pool they're, they're just kind of like just sitting there on those things and just jump in the water and like save you. I don't know what the hell they're called, but yeah. I thought there were these guys, but I don't know these guys. They're coast guards, literally just a military on the coast. That's it. Have some rich military stuff because they're not the guys that save you from drowning. They're the guys that shoot other guys. Jesus, I'm so dumb. <sighs> anyway, now where else can we go? I guess to this big huge building. Let's check that place out. See what we can find, and then we're gonna go to Chuck, and then go back to Hilo, get our weapon, and then get a, the peacemaker from there. Oh no, Jesus. Alright, what is this place? It looks like they're a hangar bay thing, Majiga. Hmm, crikey. Well, the, our boat is just on the other side, that, just on the other side of that door, so we are gonna go and actually get that. After, obviously, we go and, you know, see who else we can put down inside of here. Good. Oh, I slurred everyone. Yeah, can I open this door anytime by any chance? Actually, I can, but we're just missing power source, obviously. We're always missing power source. Stop, bro. Hey, where is our boat? Right there. We're gonna get it down and drive over the truck side in a like, quick sec. First of all, though, I wanna fully, I want, I want to fully explore this base, and then we're gonna be able to go and you know get a boat and fly the hell out of here. 
swim the hell out of here. Good. Now in these military barks or whatever the hell you want to call them, we have a lot of smoke. These guys have a lot, and I mean a lot of smoke, like bro. More smoke than a standard military base, which is interesting. Well, anyway, now this one doesn't have anything either. Uh, for a military group, they don't even have that many weapons. Hmm. They have more like, you know, life-saving, uh, co- uh, I don't know what the hell they're called, but you know. The guys that stop you from, you know, drowning stuff, then they do actually have, you know, guys that shoot other guys stuff. You know what I mean? Or whatever. That's uh, so those guys shot and the building cleared out. Let's check out this building, check out the tower, then go to Chuck Island, go back to Hilo. And then I guess we're gonna go and finish off at that Howler Kaolo place over there. Yeah, that's a good plan. Alright, shoot you. Good. Oh, I'm out of ammunition. Well, you know what that means. I'm gonna have to saw you. Good. Now you're dead. I'm gonna have to reload. I drop the empty magazine. There we are. Drop that. And now, jump into here. And do you have anything over here? Some food and. Um, oh, I don't have room. I don't have room at all. Well, I do have room for one single piece of cheese. Good. Eat that. Now, anything to drink? I'd actually prefer something to eat as well, to be honest. Let's actually drop that for now, just so I can pick up these eggs. I need these eggs, good. You can pick up that. Of course, I can't pick up that because I don't have room to pick that up. Ah, oh, Jesus, a mess. Alright, give me that. Now, there's no more food over here, great. Well, let's hope there's gonna be some food inside of here. I do doubt it. No, man, there's a kitchen. Some wheat. That's not nothing to drink. I do want something to drink. Ooh, bald water. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Good. That's that, good, now we're fine, and let's go, and that's not going to be anything else over there. Check out the tower, and then go to Chuck, then go to Hilo, then we're going to finish off the video. Somewhere around there. Now, into here we go. What do we have over here? It looks like a lot of stuff that you don't generally need, or want, in this particular case, so I'm not even going to bother. And now, yep, nothing over here. Well, in that case, let's go to Chuck, give Chuck whatever the hell Chuck wants, basically all the raft and escape stuff that we need. That he needs, and yeah, we're gonna be a okay. We're gonna drive back here. We'll technically swim because we're gonna be using a boat. And I think there's a zombie right in this uh, smoke. Never mind, he ran away. Well, oh, yeah, he ran to our bullets, didn't he? Yeah, interesting. Anyway, our boat should be somewhere around here. I mean, like, just somewhere around here. Mm, oh, yeah, we left the leg over here, didn't we? Yeah, all right, good. Let's jump right in. Here we are, and just swim right out. Good. Here we go. To the island, right over there. Let's get ourselves out of here, shall we? Good, we have still quite a lot of fuel in this boat. But it's not too much health. I don't think health will matter that much. Anyway, let's go to Chuck's Island. Completed the, pretty much the final quest. Yeah, that's actually going to be the final quest. So actually only two quests left in the entirety of Hawaii. This one that we're going to go and, you know, finish off right now. And the one that we're going to, you know, to kill the boss. And I'm going to obviously do that after we explore everything. Yeah, we're going to do that last. So yeah, this is, yeah, we, yeah, let's just go and, you know, claim the rewards for our, like, pre-last, our second last quest. Interesting. Anyway, let's also go and save Chuck. No, 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 get back in the water, get back in the water. Woo, that was close. Anyway, Chuck, you're gonna, you know, you're, you will be, you're gonna be able to remove that SOS soon, because I've came to save you, my man, Chuck. I think it has been for years. No, wait, maybe four. Wow, that's a long time. I found the stuff that you need. To build your raft. Yeah, Chuck wants you to find him some supplies so you can build a raft to get up his island. Yeah. Three logs. Got that. A paddle. Got that. And two pieces of rope. Got that. Now, given that. Thank you so much. Now I can finally get off this island. Beautiful. Are you actually going to leave or what? Okay, okay, so. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that, Chuck. Wait, he's not in a save zone. So I can just beat him up. So I guess if you ever wondered if you can kill people that are in a save zone, then, well, no. Because this dude isn't in a save zone, like Chuck isn't in a save zone, and let's just say he has quite a lot of health. Crikey, Chuck. Well, anyway, so yeah, that was that. Now, yeah, all we have is just one mission left by the name of Is That an Earthquake? Defeat one earth shattering boss. And we're gonna be doing that after we explore every single location. We have to actually go to Kyokea to go and actually kill that boss, and we haven't even been in Kyokea before, so yeah. But we're gonna be heading there, obviously, after we go to, I guess, the harbor, yeah. We're gonna go there straight after the harbor, but to get to the harbor, we need to go and first of all go to Waikola. And we're gonna go to Waikola right now. First of all, we actually have to go back to Hilo to get our gun. So yeah, we're gonna go back to Hilo, get our gun, and then go to Waikola and yeah, finish up recording right there. Next episode, we're gonna explore Waikola, explore the harbor, and I guess the episode after that, we're gonna go and I guess check out the Aliani and then go 
and fight the earth shattering giant at Kyokea. Good. So yeah, actually, yeah, we, we're gonna go to Kyokea after this Aliani rather than after the harbor. Anyway, whatever. Let's just get back to Hilo, shall we? Get into our boat and you get our gun from Hilo, and then just go to yeah. That's how Kyoko. Like Jesus Christ, these names are so weird. That other harborish place. Oh wait, because we're gonna check something more today. Let's quickly get out of our boat. And now I do fit this have quite a few items in on me in my inventory because thing is these quests are rather broken because like they don't actually take like these quest givers when they ask for stuff when they ask for multiple stuff they only take like well let's just say they ask for free apple juices they're only gonna take one apple juice like I can prove it look I have actually no Chuck crikey you're actually the only one that actually fully worked he actually took all my logs all my paddles and you know all my ropes. Because that's actually interesting, because previously the quest givers only took one of the items that I asked for. That's why I also had that, um, Colt 1911, that's why I had that gun on me. Well, I had it because the guy that asked for the two Colts only took one of the Colts. Interesting. Well, anyway, he did clear up our inventory, so our inventory is now empty. Therefore, yeah. Let's go and get the gun from Hilo, from Hilo, Hilo place, and then I'm going to go and, you know... Get ourselves out of here. We can actually probably even have fit in the peacemaker right here. Yes, okay. Let's go get the peacemaker, get the um, eagle fire, and then we're gonna go and drive to that uh, third last, well, fourth last location, which we're gonna be exploring next episode because today we are running very low on time. So let's go and park. Actually, no, I could have left this boat for Chuck. Chuck, could have, instead of getting all the stuff for Chuck, Chuck just could have gotten into this boat and just swam, I, swam away with me. But well, I guess Chuck doesn't like industrial boats, eh? I don't think this even is an industrial boat, it's pretty more of a military boat. Well, anyway, hi boy, let's just swim back to the Alaka base, the Coast Guard headquarters. And then we're going to be able to go and get ourselves out of here. Good. Oh, Jesus. Actually, we're going to have to go and backtrack a bit. I had to go to Hilo and get a, you know, peacemaker and all that stuff. Anyway, park the boat right over here. Good. That's it, good enough. Good. And now you can go and get up. Is that a, yeah, that's a knife just in the water? Interesting. Could open these doors, but obviously I can't because you know there's no power. There's never any power anywhere. But I guess whatever. And here we are. All the zombies have respawned because the players did reload. So that's a bit of an issue. So yeah, let's get the peacemaker. Let's hope that a peacemaker doesn't actually disappear. It shouldn't have, or maybe it has. But if it has disappeared, then really it's not too much of a deal. I don't really need it that much. But it would be pretty cool to have it. I must say. Let's see. Nope, it's gone. Well, let's at least hope that the eagle fire is still there. Because we did pick it up and drop it back down, therefore it should stay there. I didn't I, I didn't even pick up the eagle fighter. I mean the peacemaker, I say the peacemaker disappeared. But it did pick up and put down the eagle fire. <laughs> therefore that should still be there. According to my knowledge of this game. But if we get in our vehicle and drive because we're being chased by a bunch of mad zombies. Let's go. Back to Hilo we go. Turn around and to Hilo we go. Let's get the eagle fire. God damn it, I could have also had the peacemaker if I would have just picked it up and dropped it back down. Because that would have prevented it from despawning. But it didn't do that, so it despawned and now it's gone and everybody's sad and I, Jesus. Whatever. I didn't need that. I didn't need that peacemaker. There's not too many locations left to explore. And I still have quite a few weapons on me, so yeah. Whatever, we're fine. Let's get the eagle fire and then get ourselves right out of here. Yeah, we still have quite a bit of fuel. We can obviously refuel if we ever so need to. And the eagle fire should be up right there. See, this didn't despawn because I picked it up and dropped it back down again. So if you if you don't want a weapon to despawn, just pick it up and then drop it back down. Good. Come on, drive, drive. They're hitting our car. God damn it. We're gonna have to heal it up later on. Whatever, let's just drive ourselves out of here, shall we? Shall we? It's gonna hit that zombie when missed. Whatever, let's go and set a marker on the next location, which as you know is Wyakola. Let's go over there. Explore that place. Actually, no, we're gonna go over there and finish up the episode because we have actually run out of time and we're gonna explore it next episode. And yeah, we're gonna then go to the harbor and that good stuff. We're not gonna be actually doing any missions uh, next episode because I don't think we're gonna have enough time to actually go and deal with the earth shattering giant. And he's actually the last mission, so yeah. So we're not, we're not gonna have any like item collecting missions since we've done all them, so yeah. Therefore, all we're gonna have to do is just explore next episode, and probably the episode after that, we're gonna go and actually kill that Earth Shattering Giant, and then the episode after that, so, the, so an episode, the third episode from today, is going to be us probably, you know, finding a place, securing it, and, you know, living there. So that would mean that we're gonna have three episodes left in Hawaii, which is interesting. It's also pretty sad, because I actually do like Hawaii quite a lot. But whatever, what can you do? After we're done with Hawaii, as you know, we're gonna go to Washington years later. That's basically just a normal Washington map, like 50 years into the future. And afterwards, we're gonna go to 
What was it again? Oh yes, Easter Island. And if they don't release any more maps after we explore Easter Island, then actually will be the end of uh, uh, that. Will, yeah, that will be end. Blah blah. Can't speak. If they don't release any new maps after we explore Easter Island, then it will be the end of Unturned. We're not going to be making any more Unturned videos. But if they do release more maps, we're obviously going to go and play through those maps and then finish off Unturned. Or they can release even more maps and it's going to be stuck in an endless cycle of playing Unturned. But for that, we're going to have to wait and see. Ladies and gentlemen, we have run out of time this episode. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to go explore this Wycola place. And then we're going to head towards the harbor and the Aviani. And for the episode after that, we're going to go and we're going to fight a boss. It should be pretty epic. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!